Hey fellow tech enthusiasts, welcome back to our channel. Today we're diving into a common issue faced by many iPad Pro users after a software update battery draining problems. I know how frustrating it can be when your beloved device doesn't hold a charge as it used to, but don't worry, we've got you covered with some effective solutions to get your iPad Pro back on track. Before we begin, make sure to hit that like button. If you've recently updated your iPad Pro and noticed a quick battery drain, don't panic. It's a natural part of the update process. Just give it some time to optimize itself and you'll be back to enjoying all the new features without any worries. Generally, new updates usually bring features that require more processing power and subsequently result in increased battery consumption. Additionally, after an update, your iPad may engage in background activities like re-indexing or system optimizations that might consume more power, thus causing a quick battery drain. The, the good news is that everything should be back to normal in around 48 hours. If the issue persists, then here's what you should do. Restart your iPad Pro. Doing a simple restart can sometimes fix the sudden battery drain problem on your device. It helps close opened applications running in the background that might be draining battery life. Simultaneously press the power button and the volume up button for a few seconds. Slide the power button from left to right to turn off your iPad Pro. Once the Apple iPad Pro has been turned off, press and hold the unlock or power button for a few seconds until you see the Apple logo. Reset all settings. If restarting doesn't solve the problem, consider resetting all settings on your device. Though slightly drastic, this method has helped some users deal with similar issues in the past. Note that performing these steps will revert all system settings, but not data, to their default state. Go to Settings, then General. Tap on Transfer or Reset iPad. Then on Reset. Select Reset All Settings. Contact Apple support, last but certainly not least. If all else fails, contact Apple support directly or schedule an appointment with an Apple Store technician who is best equipped to diagnose and potentially fix hardware-related issues on your device. Thank you so much for tuning into our video. If you enjoyed the content and found it helpful, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to stay updated with all our latest tech tips and tutorials.